Welcome to the first week of May and a new kit. I had a lot of fun making this Nature's Palette kit and I hope you have a lot of fun as well. For the next two weeks, I'm going to show you how to take different shapes to put in those two by two boxes. And also you'll notice that I didn't put long labels this time, but I put two small labels. So here are a couple different ways to use those spaces. So I'm cutting these two to four and a half for either side so they match. And then I'm cutting the little bird card because I know I'm going to use that in that area. I just don't know how yet. That little pink matches the layered card that I made. I had a bunch of papers sitting on my desk with that deer um, stamped on it and I thought it was cute so I stapled them together because they all happened to match. They were little scraps and voila there's a card. So I'm just taking my selected cards and putting them down first. That's my favorite thing to do is to lay it all out and then decide how I am going to be creative today. So I didn't glue that tag all the way down and I'm showing you that you can still slide a photo under it. And I like to pre-select um, a little stack of stickers that match the kit. So that's what I've done and you'll see these um, same stickers and sticker book over and over throughout May as I'm using them up. They match. It's just easy to limit myself to a small little stack of things as I'm creating. It just works for me. So I'm looking for cute little stickers to put around the page. Since I'm creating ahead of time, I don't have any May um, photos yet, so I'm setting myself up. I know what I want to journal about and what I'm doing the first week of May, so I am picking sentiments and words um, that will match that schedule, and hopefully I'll have some pictures. I'll post it on the Facebook fans page once the layout is fully complete with the journaling and photos. I was looking for something that would fit in that cute little photo frame and smile works because the top left it says smile on the little frame as well so I thought that would match. I have some cute little just plain sentiments to decorate the right side of that card. I'm just looking for some other small elements. I got rid of the hello. It wasn't sticking down and I accidentally tore it so now I'm going back through the sticker book find a sentiment which I did and my camera cut off so I've put lovely at the top and I had saved those two little butterflies to put somewhere and that's where they ended up going. This is the story stamp. I do have that in the shop and I also placed it in this class. You can get 20% off if you would like to purchase. I do feature a lot of my stamps um, since I designed them. I use them in very specific and certain ways so I enjoy them. So if you do too you can pick some up as well and most of them have little layering elements and splatters and sequins and all kinds of fun little elements that'll make your page interesting. So here it is and thank you for stopping by friends. I'll see you next week.